What I do want to talk about mostly is our consulting work, which we um, have labeled Partners in Prevention Program. Um, and it, it works pretty simply. What we do is through data analysis, we look at companies in various sectors who are, are having challenges, who aren't doing very well, and we approach them and talk about a partnership, a program where we can assist them in trying to get on the right track. And um, when we were first designing this program, we looked at what other WCBs across Canada were doing, uh, and actually around North America. And what we found was some of them had this leadership step involved in their process in doing this consulting work. And we had a bit of debate around whether we should have that, but it became pretty clear that people said, well, no, that's gonna be critical. And I can tell you my humble opinion that really that step uh, is the most critical. When we get those people in the room, and we uh, help to, for them to see uh, the challenges that uh, they're facing or that we can help, uh, then things really take off. You know, certainly one of the things that happens at these uh, meetings is we show them data about how they're doing. Um, after doing this quite a few times, uh, there's really two slides that, um, that really change the flow of the meeting. The first is what we call sort of the mini business case, which is we show CEOs, what they could have paid over the last five years versus what they did pay. Now, most of the time, that's you know at a minimum several hundred thousand dollars, but in many cases, it's well into the millions of dollars. And sort of the eyes light up. Uh, the second thing we do is we show them a slide about where they rank versus their industry. And uh, as you can imagine, most uh, companies are a little bit competitive. So these companies are usually in the top 10 worst performers. So those two slides alone get people going and really uh, form a commitment. 